What is up guys, MJ2005 again up here and today I'm going to be unboxing the SD Sangokuden Guan Yu Yu Chang Yu Chang Yun Yun Chang Yeah Why is this the why is this the official the original name of this character is Guan Yu and only Guan Yu But yeah this is basically the new Gundam reimagined as Guan Yu and this has the thickest box of them all. Yeah, go ahead. Do your thick jokes or whatever, I don't care. So, yeah, it it looks... I don't know, it, for, for a reimagined Guan Yu, it looks pretty good. And I really cannot compare between this and the Double Zeta, just because for, for one, I forgot what that looks like. And for second, it's still based off of Universal Century Kits. And yeah, you have the signature beard. But then yeah, Guan Yu is known for having a red face. I don't know why, but probably because he's always drunk. But yeah, I don't know. Ancient Chinese love to drink their like to drink their alcohol, especially the higher ups. Plus, all kids age six, age eight and up, and yeah, that's basically it. I really do not have much to say just because this doesn't have the like flamboyance of the Zhang Fei God Gundam or the or the disappointing color scheme of the uh, Liu Bei. Unicorn Gundam, but yeah, this is kind of probably average all across the board. So let's take a look inside now. As per the previous two unboxings, yeah, the box is freaking tight for some freaking reason. I didn't really delve into the contents. I just kind of glanced over them and got on with the recording. So here we go. Let's take a deeper look. A plate, as usual, your gray cross silhouette frame, I think, and then the B plate is. The face and all the white parts and this thing over here pegs for the beard and the and the goatee looking pretty good it doesn't have like the same amount of detail like the same amount of carving detail as per these as per the previous two but yeah I appreciate how they did this and then the gold C plate is basically the same glossy metallic gold Nothing really to say here, and a rather ordinary looking V-fin, but the dragon heads over here. Pretty nice carving, if I may say so myself. And then, the E-plate, which is basically the black. And then, the G-plate, all the clear green. Now, it's accurate. Like, it, it reflects the character well, is what I'm trying to say. But I think the parts for the uh, for the weapon, yeah, child safety pack, cut them off. But then the parts for the weapon, let me check. There are some gold bits that you need to color in. It's an easy job if you have a gold gun marker. So yeah, I might as well do that because a plain clear green blade is really not my cup of tea. And then we have a small plate, the F plate over here for the goatee itself. Just one red piece and all of that. One red piece? Really? Oh yeah, so because the others are reflected with stickers. Not that much to be honest. This, now Liu Bei has the least amount of stickers of them all and freaking top on my light. And then this guy, Guan Yu, with this, with average amount of stickers, like six pieces of stickers. But then Zhang Fei has the most, so yeah. But... Anyways, the amount of stickers is appreciated because I really do not want like an A5 sheet of stickers like the RX-0 Maru had. But anyways, that's besides the point. And then let's take a look at the instruction manual. So here we have the new Gundam. It's, it still looks kind of, kind of ordinary, but I had to really see the customers. At least it is better looking than the box art. Because this has the traditional Gundam menacing look, angry look, if I may call it an SD. But the goatee is kind of hidden in the beard, so I, 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 like, I like the line art better. An intelligent man with strong moral code. And then we had the Seiru and gets tall. Well, decent coloring. You can you have the ultimate attack over here and then the combination with Liu Bei's weapon. At least it is not the combination with Liu Bei's body. Oh yes! Oh yes! great thing that they did the illustration for this because this is one of the most iconic goddamn freaking lights keeps toppling over 
This this is the most iconic scene among all the interpretations of the three kingdoms. Just them coming together and declaring that even though we, we are not born in the same year, day, month, or day, but we strive to die in the same year, month, and day. That's the literal translation. I don't know what it was in Chinese because well, it's somewhere along those lines. And yeah, they just met in the Sakura Garden and yeah, this happened. And then let's take a look into it. Yeah, as usual, warnings, parts count for trying to do an order sheet. Don't rush, take your time in assembling the model. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this, how to assemble the model. S the seven different parts of the body and converging into one piece over here. And then you have the assembly of the weapon and then the combination with Lube's weapon. So that's basically it. So this is... Ca this is the well this is the kit that drove my uh drove my uh adrenaline the least however yep if i have the other two i might as well get this guy so this guy just looks nice in his in his own respect so yeah it's a it's a pretty decent decent kit to add into my uh sangoku collection just because except for Diao chan and potential future releases that I'm gonna get. I think I might get all of these and get the original Diao Chan Cubole. Oh yeah, shit! I I made a mistake in my post because the the Diao Chan in this series is the Kshatriya, which I really don't like. There's the original Diao Chan of Morgan. Anyways, I digress. So I'm gonna be building this kit, and as usual, as as per the previous two unboxings, I will be doing a review of this guy from next thursday by the time of this recording onwards so gotta deal with my tedious subjects before i have the time to devote myself to do these reviews so yeah i'm gonna be doing a review of the three in uh, on next thursday onwards from this recording so look forward to that and i'm certainly looking forward to completing the three brothers of the shoe nation so that's it for me and i would see you guys in the review peace out kind of sucky outro to be honest there